Thursday, 14th of March, according to antiwar.com, Taiwan confirms presence of US Marines in the Kinsman Islands. Now, the Kinsman Islands are only two and a half miles away from mainland China, although they are controlled by Taiwan. Taiwanese Defence Minister Xi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to murder. I am going to murder some pronunciations here. There's been a murder in Kelvin side. Chu Chu Ku Ching. There's been a murder. Confirmed on Thursday the presence of U.S. Army Special Forces soldiers in Kinmen, a group of islands controlled by Taiwan, but located just off the coast. Chu confirmed the highly provocative deployment when asked about a new report from U.S. outlet Softrep that said U.S. Green Berets have taken up permanent positions as military advisors in Kinmen. Right. We all know what happened the last time the U.S. sent military advisors in, didn't we? Afghanistan, Vietnam, Ukraine. <laughs> anyway, moving on, it gets better. Oh, it gets much better. Report from UDN. The Taiwanese main media news outlet, along with the China Times. Is the US military assisting the Chinese military in training in Taiwan? The identities of three strong American men who were beaten up by a drunken by drunken men in Pingu were exposed. Now this report comes from the 16th of December last year. A fight broke out at McDonald's on Chongqing Road, Mayong City, Pingu, in the early morning of December 26th. Three people, including a man called Lu from Pingu, clashed with three strong Americans. Now, this is this website is tra translated from the original Chinese, so there may be some idiosyncrasies with the language. There's been a murder. One of the Americans was beaten and injured. The Taiwanese filed a lawsuit, but the police transferred them for disorderly conduct. I think he means the police charged them with disorderly conduct. And the court further then went on to sentence Lu Nan and three other people to six months in prison and a fine. None of the Americans were either imprisoned or fined. Local rumours state the three people who were beaten up were U.S. military special operations instructors. Now, these people are on the the island of Pengu, which is about 30 miles west of Taiwan and about 70 miles from China. They're not directly on Kinsmen, these ones. But this is a major military base for drone operations and such like. So it's quite likely these people are involved in some kind of training with the Taiwanese military. And obviously, they want to keep it on the lowdown because technically, as the US does not recognise Taiwan as a separate independent country, despite what anyone thinks, they don't. And they still don't, and that was the agreement they made with China. Technically, Taiwan is still part of China, and therefore, any US presence on it that's uninvited by the Chinese i.e. the CCP, is technically an invasion. <laughs> so, so they're playing it a little bit risky here. But when does America ever do anything but? Three, three named Taiwanese gentlemen, Lu, Liu and Zhang, went to a Vietnamese store near McDonald's on December 25th last year, about 1am, that's into the 26th, the next day. Lu and others were about to leave in the elevator when they met three people at the elevator entrance. A strong American man <laughs> had a collision between the two parties and due to the language barrier, a pushing and verbal conflict broke out. Thereafter, the American man was beaten up by Mr. Liu and Mr. Zhang. And when the other two Americans saw this, they ran to their assistance. They were then immediately attacked Mr. Liu striking one of the, the original American man with a wooden chair and a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Despite all this, the police broke it up and the American men refused medical assistance and decided to go home and lick their wounds and no doubt their pride. <laughs> 
So, almost certainly US soldiers swaggering about, getting a fight, things all go wrong. What could possibly go wrong next? <laughs>